Lowe's is presented by Gumatasa Coffee House, specializing in fresh local favorites. Located across Payless in Manila. Find them on Facebook. And we're back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now, I'm sure you've seen it all over social media, Facebook and Instagram. Kind of curious why Jeff Timmons is adding you on Facebook. And maybe you thought it was a joke, but it is definitely true. Jeff Timmons will be performing on Island this summer in July. And he gave us all the details. Check it out. Many know Jeff Timmons from Boy Band 98 Degrees with hits like I Do Cherish You, Invisible Man, The Hardest Thing, and more. These are songs you probably requested on the radio, blasted in your car, or even sang during a night of karaoke. Well, for the past few months, I'm sure you've seen it all over social media. Timmons is expected to perform on Guam for the first time in the summer. And aside from 98 Degrees, Timmons has been quite busy. I have five kids, so I spend a lot of time at home. Uh, and in the course of uh, 98 Degrees after that, um, spent a lot of time with my kids. It was, you know, obviously that was kind of my priority at the time, but never left the music business. I've always been behind the scenes, producing stuff, putting out small things on my own. Uh, and then, you know, I, uh, I ended up going on tour with 98 Degrees a couple of years ago. I was on on a TV show uh, a few years before that, uh, traveled and did some stuff in Southeast Asia on my own, did a really big tour there, which was great. And, uh, you know, created a new show called Men of the Strip here out in Las Vegas and doing a lot of television production as well. So I've always kept busy. So it was behind the scenes, of course, but you know, now we're getting back into this in front of the, uh, in, in the forefront again. And more recently, 98 Degrees got back together. We had a big tour with New Kids on the Block of Boys the Men that was a, a big national uh, North American tour that was sold out everywhere, which was like my dream come true because I was opening, uh, we were we were uh, headlining with Boys the Men, which was great. So I'm sure you're all curious. How did Timmons come to know about Guam? I was always intrigued by Guam. I mean, we have we have been all over the world. Guam hasn't been a place that that we that 98 Degrees had, had visited. And I had always run into you know girls that were fans, and they'd be in the states, and they were like, you know, look, we're huge. We have huge, huge fan base in Guam. And I ca I can't come came to you know this this opportunity through a friend of mine who was been a fan of 98 Degrees for many, many years. His name's Tony Barcinas, you know Tony. So uh, Tony was like, would you ever consider going to Guam and doing a show on your own? And I was, of course, absolutely yes. I mean, tell me what I need to do. Barcinas, who Timmons has known for several years, started off as a fan, even opening for Timmons at one point. Now the two are good friends. We've gradually, throughout the years, through his support and just becoming, uh, you know, always being at everything that we did as a group, and of course me as an individual, we've become close, and so he's more like a friend than anything, and uh, I want this to work for him as much as I do for me, so I'm super excited about it. Simmons and Barcinas use the power of social media to get the word out and hype up the fans, generating an overwhelming response. I'm absolutely blown away at the response. I mean, and the funnier, the funniest thing about the whole thing is, is I'm always on social media. I'm always on my own. I'm always on 98 degrees. You know, most of us are. We respond to our fans. We don't have like a, a boutique company running our, our social media like some folks do. We've always been a pretty hands-on group with all, all of our social media and, and just kind of wanting to gauge the feedback and excitement from the fans and just let them know how much we appreciate them. So to, to get this sort of response that, you know, my Instagram is blowing up and, you know, these people are running around uh, uh, doing their thing as street team members for us to promote the event and, you know, people are singing the songs and it just seems like a very, very passionate culture over there. And I mean, it's, it's an honor for me to be able to have out there, especially ones that I've never been in front of in person. With the excitement building up, what exactly can fans expect? 98 Degrees, are, are, we're known as balladeers primarily. We sing ballads, so people are going to expect me to sing the ballads. And of course, I'll sing all of the, the things that we're known for, all those love songs and the things that made us popular and famous. But we have a whole nother side of things that 
uh, on our, on my side as an individual that's a lot of tempo stuff, club stuff. That's one thing we never had in 98 Degrees was a club jam. So I spent the last few years writing club jams for other people and we'll have tempo things where people can get up and get out of their seat, dance around, have a blast and keep the excitement going. As for what he wants his fans on the island to know. Thank you so much for this overwhelming support that you uh, have given me so far, having me not ever set foot uh, in your neck of the woods, but I'm so excited about being there. I totally am honored and appreciative of you embracing me already, embracing my new music. The support for the new music has been incredible. And I really look forward to seeing you this summer and it's gonna be an amazing show, I promise you. You can find Jeff Timmons on Facebook and follow Jeff on Guam on Instagram for the latest updates and contests. For those who can't wait till July to see Timmons in concert, he's scheduled to perform during the University of Guam's 63rd anniversary Founders Day Gala on June 27th at the Hyatt Regency Guam. Keeping with the heat, we'll be giving you a recap of the 2015 Firefighter Muster Challenge when we return. You're watching In The Mix. Your community calendar is brought to you by Taco Bell. Whether it's your first meal or your fourth meal, we've got you covered. Taco Bell, live moss.